Let's be real, Mattel has done a fantastic job this year in terms of making the mainline so interesting, releasing a ton of new cars, but the distribution and ordering of the releases has been so erratic. It's crazy. The fact that we're just now unboxing Case K in September, even though it started hitting stores a month or so ago, and also Case L, which is the case after this, hit stores about a month ago as well, but we don't have the full cases available to the resellers yet, so I can't do the unboxing, let alone who knows what happened to cases G that I couldn't unbox, etc. Man, it's just been crazy this year. I've had to like kind of stitch together a bunch of case videos. Like if you guys had seen my case G video, that is not a full case unboxing. I just managed to accumulate all the cars, put them together, and show them off in the video. But here we are. We're back with a real, yes, this is a real cardboard box an actual case unboxing. So I'm very excited for this. It hasn't been that long. I think case H I unboxed like toward the end of June or early July. But then of course I did case G and case L just review videos because I was fortunate enough to find them in the stores. And yeah, I was able to find the half version of case K at Walmart, but it only includes Mato, Mallory, Carhut, and Patty. And the case has a lot more to offer than that. I'll leave the contents for the full case and the half case in the description below if you want to check it out and kind of follow along. But this case actually has been hitting the UK in full. So a lot of people in Europe have been able to obtain the other good things that this case has to offer. And yeah, I know of some of the things, but I think there'll be a few surprises in here as well. So let's just get right on into it. Again, super excited to be finally unboxing a real case once again. But yeah, case K, 95C, that just 95 is on everything, but C is indicative of 2023. Next year, it will be 95D. Made in Thailand, contains 24 pieces. We know, we know, we know. I really don't have anything too good to break the seal. Like I'm literally going to use my broken tea. Yeah, that's right. My tea is still laying here in shambles from when it snapped on me long ago now. It has been a while since the tea gave away, but actually it still works just fine. It is making a case for itself not to be tossed in the garbage just yet at least. Now, if you guys want to know where this case came from just send me like a message on instagram or twitter or email me or whatever all my contact info is in the about section on my channel and all that stuff but <clears throat> there's no sense in giving a free shout out to the seller of this case i don't give there are no free rides here is what i'm trying to say but yeah looks like all the good stuff's kind of in the middle so we're going to start on the top and yeah, we can't even see what's up there, guys. Look at that. It's so tall now that they do six rows of four instead of four rows of six. But it looks like we're starting off with the double greebles, which is, oh my goodness gracious, let's not ever do that again. What is the problem here? Yeah, this case is not in great condition from what I'm seeing. Like The cars look a little bit mangled, so I'm not huge on that. But yeah, holy cow. Everything's like just tipping. Mato, can you help actually? No, Tubbs and Vlad, you're going to help us offset that. Look, that is perfect. Look at that. All right. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's a very, very stupid decision to include two of a character they released last year. Two Greebles. Now, granted, it's a great car, probably kind of a sight for sore eyes. Haven't seen Greebles around in a few months, but when he or she was out, because she got released in back to back cases, 2022 case M and then 2023 case B, which was the first case of the year, you got a lot of her at Target and Walmart. Now, I'm saying him slash her, it really doesn't matter. You know, someone offered up a very interesting theory the other day that all of the clowns that are in this style paint job, like the pink swirls, are females and all the males are in the like metallic turquoise. And I think that actually would hold true if Greebles is a female. So maybe we'll find out later on as more and more come out. But you know, you have Hallam Haynes, that would be a male, and then you have Claire Gunzer 
Emily Beanbright, so far females. And so, yeah, it would make sense, but who knows, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Just want to toss that in there. So, yeah, I like Rebels, don't get me wrong, but it even still says 2022. Like, this is an old release, so I'm not really too sure why they felt like they had to include two of Rebels. Whatever, though. And this one's really mangled. Like, it got the corner up there and just, oh, my God, got absolutely mashed. So not ideal there. Hopefully that's not indicative of everything in this case because that would really suck. A lot of the stuff I plan on keeping in the package like Tubbs Pacer here. And yeah, it looks like he's actually on a really good card. Thankfully, it's a little bit bent backwards, but yeah, it's got like a, look at that. It's got like a weird mark. Huh, I've never seen anything like that. It's like part of the <laughs> graphics have been worn off. You could see like the white card. That's so weird, but... Anyway, yeah, Tubbs Pacer. This is a weird looking car. It's got like a little black booger in there. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is Tubbs Pacer's first release from Thailand and his first release in a long time, since like 2016, I believe it was. So it's great to see some of the Lebmans making it back into the main line. I honestly thought for a second there, Mattel completely purged the worst parts of Cars 2 from their memory banks, like they'll only do World Grand Prix racers and some of the background characters. They won't do anything spy related unless maybe it's like Finn or Holly. But yeah, this proves that wrong. They're doing a Professor Z mini racer, of course, and we'll have Vladimir Trunkov in here as well. So very happy about that. I think he looks great on this card, the you know double red. And yeah, maybe I'll have to do a video on him and Vladimir Trunkov because... Their Thailand variants look semi-different from the Chinese versions. And yeah, that license plate looks really clear. So yeah. I'll do a little comparison here in a moment once I free Vladimir and Tubbs from their <laughs> servitude holding the case up. Once I get a few more racks down, we'll be able to just set it down. But yeah, this is a very weird card back to me because of the fact that Mater with Balloon is a 2022 release. Everything else here is a 2023 release. So I don't know how Mater with Balloon snuck on there. And they're also still leaving this empty, like a little ghost chilling over there. Just looks off to me. Like there's definitely, like that just looks unnatural. It looks awkward not to have a car filling that blank space. But at least they got Cars 2 on there. And yeah, looking really crisp. I like it. All right, next up we have Mallory Car Hut. And look, <laughs> luckily, that is the new word of the day. It's when you want to say luckily and also looky here. Luckily, Mallory's on a good card as well. So despite the rough start, you know, we're not doing so bad after all. Now, it's funny, I found a lot of Mallory car huts. I've been very fortunate. I found full cases of the half case of Case K, and that is such a word jumble. I hate it. I feel like there's got to be a better way to word it, like, oh, the half case K, which is, you know, it's not like I'm finding half of Case K. I'm finding the half case K. It's like, oh, my God, Mattel, why do you have to do this? Or like Walmart, why do you have to order half cases? Why do you want that crap? I don't know. Not a big fan of it as a whole, and there's reasons for that. You know, the sense that it excludes all these great cars in here. Like, Tub Spacer is not in the Walmart version of the case. I think the best way to explain it is the Walmart version of Case K. But, yeah, anyways, back on track. I found several of those. So, I've gotten several Mallory's from Walmart, and I also found one at Target when I found the full case L. And so, yeah, lots of Mallory's in my life, and I'm cool with that. I like her. One of the best releases, I think, of the year because it's a new model and just so unique looking as a ghost for sure. She will be released next year, I believe, as well. But she'll then be on like the regular packaging like tubs here. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, on the back, you have Road Rumbler, Mater, Mateo, West Flampus, Mato, Griswold somehow maintains his position on these packages for no reason at all. He or she has not been released in quite some time, but just manages to, you know, still be on there. And then you have the Quadratorcasar, who we'll be seeing here in a couple moments. But yeah, good stuff. 
but nothing we haven't seen already. In fact, a lot of these are in this case, like Mato, Mateo, West Flampus, I all see, and the quad. I don't think Rumbler Mater is, though. He was in case J, and I think only case J as it stands. All right, let's keep on digging. This is another almost inexplicable inclusion to me. The two Mario Andretti's, I'm not sure I like this or support this decision. He was previously only in case E, which the Walmart version of KC e did not have Mario in it. So you would have to get lucky and find him at Target, which I did. And actually, fun little fact for you guys, Coles, as in K-O-H-L apostrophe S, not Australian C-O-L-E apostrophe S, American Coles has been getting in 2023 case E's. I was able to find Rich Mixon there which was pretty cool because that's one of the rare releases of the year and you know found Mario as well so if you're in need of any cars from that case check out your local Coles in the toy section but yeah I don't get this I mean sure Mario is a pretty popular character but I think including two I don't know it just feels a little off to me but both of these are really good cards so Lucky me, I might have to return one of my Marios at this point, though, because I was not anticipating getting two out of this case. I think this puts my total at like four or five on the year, which I absolutely don't need. But again, super unnatural looking, the fact that there is a gap here. Although, I don't know, I feel like the case E Mario didn't have that gap. Maybe he did, and I'm just blanking, but I feel like this gap, like the ghost spot there, is a new development like a couple cases ago, not dating all the way back to February. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm hallucinating. I'll have to look at that, actually. But yeah, it's cool seeing Greg Candyman, Krusty Roder, amidst some Radiator Springs Townies there, all of which are out. Although Greg was introduced in Case L, which is technically the case after this one. So it was still, you know, the way Mattel intended this to be, Greg was just a preview of what's to come, whereas everything else was already out technically in theory oh man i got lucky today guys vladimir trunkov here is on another good card i got really fortunate after those two greebles i was very worried that we were going to be in for a rough case because this seller that i get these from like it's fine and like usually everything's okay but like sometimes not so much especially because a lot of the times he'll ship the case just raw, like just naked, like a naked case. He'll slap a label on literally this box and poof, hocus pocus it out. And it's like, bro, that is so bad for the cars inside. I mean, they're going to get jostled around in there. There's no packing material in this box. And, you know, surprisingly though, this case was double box. Like it was inside of another box and there was some brown paper. So I appreciate that. Don't know what, you know, Prompted him to do that, but I'll take it. And yeah, maybe it helped with these other cars here. It certainly didn't help with Greebles, but I'll take it. Vladimir Trunkov, again, same as Tubbs Pacer. First time from Thailand. First time since 2016, I believe. And he looks pretty good. Similar expression, pretty much the same as to what he had in the past. And again, like I said, I'll do a little quick comparison here. As soon as, you know, they end their indentured servitude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. But yeah, it looks good. Not a whole else lot to say. It's a very small car, the trunk of Czar. Same exact card back as Tubbs. Again, great to see the lemons back. Would have liked some newness, but re-releases and kind of boring ones, you know, it's great to see him back, but if you really look at it objectively, some of the more boring releases they could have done. Like I feel like Grem and Acer would have been more popular than these two. Not saying anything against them, but Grem and Acer are much more iconic. They have not been released in much longer, I would say. Yeah, like just regular Grem and Acer. And then also, how about just a new lemon in general? Like they're all the same model, just repaint them. Yeah, I don't get it. Sometimes Mattel's decisions baffle me. All right, anyways, here we have a Patty. This is her first release from Thailand as well. So this is kind of like the turning point in the year where you start getting slammed with a lot of new 
Thailand variants, whereas up to this point, there really weren't many at all. There were the Tokyo Mater ones, but outside of that, not really. But then, of course, the case after this, you get, well, I guess even the case after this, yeah, okay, Jay Schuster is one. But then case M, you'll get Todd Pizza Planet Truck, you'll get Mark Wilson, and I think maybe one or two more. So yeah, lots of new Thailand variants as the year closes out. Patty doesn't look anything too wild. But it is great to see her back, another kind of more classic Cars 1 character. First released in 2009, Mario Andretti's assistant. So it's actually really cool that they're in the same case. But probably one Mario would have sufficed because now there's an imbalance. There's a 2 to 1 Mario to Patty ratio. I don't know how I feel about that. I've always loved Patty's art. It looks so weird. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my God. Whoa. Patty just, oh God, my allergies inflamed. But yeah, such a just weird shaped car. So flat and angular, like so pointy. I don't know, such a weird looking car. Good old dent right there as well, which they do reflect on the car. Yeah, kind of crazy. It's funny. A lot of cars in this Cars 1 grouping have dents. Like Michael Sparkber has one and then there's a few other that you wouldn't expect like why should patty have a dent and then she does like it just it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense but on the back here you have a nice interesting card back johnny blamer is cool to see misty motocross the rev and go racer so johnny's in case j and l misty is just in case i think she might appear again but as it stands now she's just in case j fillmore crusty rotor dexter hoover with green flag who we'll see here and lizzie so looking good and this one is in the walmart version of the case so she'll be much easier to obtain than tubs pacer vladimir trunkov and some of these other ones we'll get to oh goodness gracious what is this road trip lightning mcqueen on a mint card oh wonderful and it's not even the new version of road trip mcqueen this is your old cars or 2022 version of road trip mcqueen I don't know why the blister looks like wider. It's almost as if they use the Cars 1 version of McQueen. I know they didn't, but it just looks wider to me. Mine's playing tricks on me. But yeah, I don't really understand why they go back and forth between the variants. I mean, I guess it makes some sense to switch it up, keep it fresh, but they've still trickled a lot of 2022 stuff into 2023 cases more than they ever have before like usually it's like a stone wall comes down and nothing from the previous year leaks into the following year's cases like unlike hot wheels that they do that to they don't do that for cars until this year and now it's carried throughout the entire year like there's always a handful of 2022 singles still in the cases and it's so weird to me i really i mean i don't really care all that much it hasn't like taken away from anything but it's just weird i mean look at this like it looks so weird to just see three cars on the road releases and they're all super basic but that's how we start like that was ground zero for cars on the road last august speed demon was an interesting choice to release first with mater mcqueen but it's made her like a classic character almost <laughs> All right, please be on mint card. Please be on mint card. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. So lucky. West Flap is here, who is probably going to be one of the rarest releases of the year. And I was fortunate enough to score one on a mint card. That's awesome. Oh my God, such a relief. I need, I need that luck to carry through for a couple more in this case. And then the rest I don't care about. Like I need that Mateo up there to be on a good card. But yeah. Only in case J and then carried right on over to case K. So that's pretty cool. But problematically though, <laughs> West Philanthropist is not in the Walmart version of case J nor K. So how do you get West Philanthropist? I don't have the answer to that question. Target has not really received either case. I think someone reported to find it in case J at Target, but it was like one off. I don't remember seeing anyone else find it there. But I think internationally it's popping up in a few places, so that's good. I think Australia, but yeah, this might be one of those ones that you kind of got to get online. You got to pay the $20, $25 
and I would say it's worth it. I mean, this is one of the best releases in a long time. I love, like, as I talked about in the review of him, I think he's a, you know, top 10 release over the last five years or so, even though it's so fictional, like it's so unbelievable and detached from the racing world. It's just such a unique and very well-crafted car. I mean, look at the detail on this guy. He's got all these parts going on. He's got the roof panels there. He's got all these exhaust pipes. He's got tails. He's got a horn. He's got fins. He's got teeth. I mean, man, what a great release, guys. And yeah, super glad that they brought him into this case, but not happy that I don't know how they determine the Walmart versions of the case, but what, you know, really, Walmart's missing out pretty badly there. Anyways, here you have Adam Rodriguez on the back, which is another one that's kind of in the same boat, but even rarer than case or than the West Flappus, although he is in case M, I believe. So that might change a few things, but yeah, he was only in case J as it stands. Then you have Mateo, who was only in case H up until this one. You have Rumbler Mater, who's in the Walmart version of Case J, so no sweat there. Quattro Torcasar, we'll talk about. Griswold, Weirdo, Nile Speedcone has been in Case J and, yeah, I think just Case J. No, Case J and then Case L. So he's fine. He's in the Walmart version of J. So ultimately, I don't think you really have to worry about a lot of these guys, but yeah, these two will be a little bit more difficult. Awesome, though. That's a big win for me. All right, I need this Mateo to be on a good card. Oh, and he is. Wow, we've had immaculate luck. After those first two Greebles, which were on horrible cards, everything's been good. They just took the brunt of the impact. <laughs> they took one for the team. But the reason why I needed this is because after I got my Case H to unbox and I opened up the one Mateo that was inside of it, I never found Case H at Walmart. And the Walmart version of Case H does have Mateo. It doesn't have Jeremy. It doesn't have Cryptid Buster Mater, but it does have Mateo. It does have Cryptid Buster McQueen, which is good. Just never found it all. As weird as it sounds, you know, I've been pretty fortunate over the last couple of months in finding cars. I found three Mottos out there. I found Case L in full, but. Yeah, never found Case H, so this is a win for me. This guy will be kept in the package. But yeah, really small, very light, complete contrast to the West Flanapis being a large, heavy die cast. But I guess that's where they you know, all average out, right? The law of averages. So on the back here, got a couple of cards we just talked about. Cryptid Buster McQueen, Jeremy, you have the quad again. Griswold, just such a lurker. Nile, and then the Cryptid Buster Mater. But yeah, good to see him back again. He is not in this, the Walmart version of this case, however. But that's okay, though. He was in the Walmart version of the case he debuted in. Then we have Mr. Cardboard's Mr. Cardboard Divider in here. Looking good. On a pretty good card as well. So happy about that. Oh yeah. Here we have Sheriff. <laughs> What is this? Is this a 2022 Sheriff? No, it's a 2023 Sheriff, but it's on the old packaging. See, I don't know. It's so weird how they have like three different packagings going at once. That'll all be standardized in 2024. Like it'll all come together. Everything will look like the darker red ones, but you still got a couple of these bad boys in here. This is a 2023 release, but it has the white blister square here, the white background behind the blister. Yeah. This guy's basically like out of case B, I think. That's fine though. I'm not gonna complain about it. And then here we go. Oh, perfect. We have one that's not on such a great card. You can see here it's a little bit bent, but that's alright because I need to open this guy. And I already have one all the way from the UK that's on a good card. Plus, it's on international card, as you can see here, the difference between international and American packaging. So very fortunate. Got lucky there because I was like about to open this one. I wanted to do a review on it, but then this case popped up for sale and saved me. So yeah, I've got very lucky there. But yeah, you could see the difference in the packagings. The International doesn't say new for 2023. It only gives a couple translations there that looks like English 
and probably French. I mean, yeah, the Quadrator Casario. <laughs> I don't know why they just don't go with Quadrator Casar for every language because it's already a made up fictional name. But yeah, I think that would be Spanish and then French. But then the English packaging has the other offerings. The international packaging just shows the card you're getting. So kind of a different approach. Look at that. Teta, that's like Russian. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like, yeah, let me just go to Google Translate real quick. Hey, <laughs> Like the Mattel intern is like, yeah, let me uh, just translate Quadratorkasar into Russian real quick. Oh, cool. Teta, da, da, da. <laughs> oh my goodness. So funny. But yeah, this is a great release. It was a little questionable there for a while where he was going to be placed because he was supposed to be in case H. That was his original case, got pushed back, and then we didn't know, obviously, until people started finding the case that he was, you know, reinstated and just, you know, added to case K because he was not on the original case list. He was not on any other case list besides H, so really got lucky there. It looks like he replaced, oh, I need to look at the list again, the original list. He might have replaced a Nile Speed Cone or one of the McQueen, something like that. But yeah, this guy's awesome, just like the West Philanthropus, a super big and heavy die cast. Can't wait to review him in a couple of days for you guys here. So I don't want to give too much away, but yeah, the color changer version was fine, but technically that was the baby quad. This is daddy or mama quad, and yeah, far superior in every way, even though they use the baby quad art. Come on. Come on, Mattel. And yeah, it's funny, on the back here, it shows you the Case H releases. Like, all this stuff is pretty much from Case H, except for Griswold. It's funny that, you know, Mateo, it's like Griswold and Mateo switch places. But anyways, yeah. Yeah, a few guys actually switch places. But yeah, that just proves to you guys right there, I wasn't making anything up. Don't be calling any what the hell's on me. I promise you, he was planned for Case H, and this proves it because the card backs are representing the same assortments. Yeah, man, very excited to release this one or to review that one. And don't really care about this one, Lightning McQueen with racing wheels on the newer red red packaging. <laughs> It's almost like it's international packaging because they only show him, which makes no sense because there's a whole bunch of Cars 2 releases this year. I don't get it. Whatever. We'll move on. And then we have like the highlight from the case being Mato here. Made her sister. But it ends up being not the highlight because the Quadratorcasar is not in the Walmart version of the case, whereas Mato is. So it's shot the rarity of Quadratorcasar up the roof, whereas Mato is becoming more of a common car. Like I found several of her already, which is kind of crazy. Maybe I'm just lucky. But yeah, she was the highlight, and then the quad kind of took over and is overshadowing her because of the fact that he's less acquirable. He's less obtainable. He is more elusive, and as you guys may or may not know, it's a standard human law that applies to everything, whether it be girls or die-cast cars. You want what you can't have. So, sorry, Mato. I had you, but I want a Quadratorcasar. Yeah, you guys can read into that. But, no, what I'm trying to say, like, seriously, though, like, that is literally something that's it's very real. Like, it's a very real sentiment. But still, though, Mato is a great release here. I reviewed her now a while ago, so you can check out that video on the channel. Great release. Large die cast. Not as big as the Quad or the West Philanthropist, but still, you're getting your money's worth, especially if you're getting it at Walmart, which you are because Target doesn't have this case. And, yeah, $372 versus $5. Yes, please. <laughs> Yeah, you got Mallory Carhut on there now. You got the quad, the West Philana. This is a classic Case K card back. Although Rumbler Mater looks a little out of place. And yeah, on a good card. So continuing to get lucky until I probably drop it somewhere. All right, what else do we have here? Let's go to this Mater that I really don't care about. Oh, it's a road trip Mater. 
but it's a 2022 road trip mater, which is just regular mater. So it's the same as 2018 mater. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. I don't know. This is fine though. Don't really care. It's so weird that they reverted back to last year for both Mater McQueen in this case. It's like they were trying to commemorate the one year anniversary because yeah, we're right around it. Cars on the Road came out just a little bit over a year ago. Here we have Doc Hudson on the blue, blue, or the red, red packaging. Always a classic car that will sell without an issue, despite being something that they've released many times. See, and this one does it right. They slipped in Sally into that empty spot there, so it doesn't look super weird. And this car back is so nostalgic. All these cars were released on the original 2006 Desert Mainline all of them and some of them even use similar stock images not quite but yeah like mcqueen's stock image at that point was different almost everyone's was like they were very raw but ramones might have still looked like that like i feel like some of these they've at least been using since like 2007 so super nostalgic for me and yeah obviously doc was also released on the original card or the original 2006 line so it's very cool now all these are still continuing and surging on very successfully even today. You know, what is it now? 17 years later. Very cool. You can even apply that logic to this guy almost because he was released in 2007. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Man, those white walls look fat, don't they? They look fatter than usual. Like Especially that front tire there. Look at that. That's a lot of white. Yeah, he's been released from Thailand a couple times now, so nothing too special. They did reverse the art, went into Microsoft Word, do a little horizontal flip, and said, yep, this will do. But yeah, this guy was released, I think, for the first time in case C, maybe, this year? Case, maybe it was case B. Doesn't really matter. It's been a while. And yeah, this guy doesn't really float anyone's boat. I don't think he was releasing a two-pack with Doc last year, so... Now you just got them both back to back as singles. Oh my God, I've been spoiled in this video. This is another just immaculate card for one that I needed to keep in the package. And that is Dexter Hoover with green flag. Surprisingly, they actually specify on the frontier that it is with the green flag on the name tag. Can't believe that because they refused to do that with Miles Axrod last year when they included both versions, the regular and the with microphone versions in the same case. And they're like, nah, people will know. They'll totally know. We don't need to differentiate. We'll just call them the same exact thing. Yeah, that was dumb. And they kind of do this with a lot of variants nowadays. They'll just call it the regular version. You know what I mean? And it's very lazy. It's kind of saddening because it's more inconsistency that we don't need. But they did a good job with this one. I think this is, well, it's obviously not Dexter's first time from Thailand. He's been released many times from Thailand. But maybe it's the first time the green flag has been released from Thailand. I don't know. Then the last time, like last year, was the checkered flag. Maybe he was released in a two-pack with the green flag before. I don't really keep track of the small minutia like that. But it is nice to see him on the red red packaging here you got the choking hazard up there but still a nice presentation and yeah <laughs> this looks a little weird seeing patty on the back that looks pretty cool i feel like i haven't seen her on one of the card backs yet got another advertising or a choking hazard there lizzie fillmore ramon and johnny blamer what a squad guys that is the squad right there yeah, cool stuff. That's his first time being released in 2023. Next up, we have Tailgate. Nothing too special here. 2023 release, but from quite a while ago now. And yeah, look at this full roster here. Feels like almost a completely different main line these are all released in. Like Jet Robinson was so early on in the year. Rich Mixon feels like an eternity ago. So is Fair Game. And then Pushover seems to have been canceled. Doc Hudson there. The fabulous Doc Hudson's been out. Well, that was a long time ago for him. So it just kind of feels weird. Like This is a very strange looking card back at this point in the game. 
All right, well, we have to finish it off here. Oh, yes, exactly what the doctor ordered. Two cards won Lightning McQueen's. Yay. Yeah, I really hope one of them's in air to make it somewhat interesting, but it appears not. <laughs> Can I will an air into existence? That's kind of nostalgic, though, even though he wasn't released at that point in time yet. Back in 2006. They're on good cards though. Well, that'll... I actually would rather if they weren't. That sounds so weird. I'm probably joking. Maybe not. But if they were on worse cards, I wouldn't feel bad about tossing them into the... Like, I literally fill boxes like these up with bad carded singles. Like, those two greebles. <laughs> this bad boy here, he's going straight back into one of these boxes because... You know, I don't trust these boxes necessarily to keep them looking good. And so everything that I want to be kept nice goes into like a plastic tub with bubble wrap under bed storage container. And that's that. And then I have just several boxes like this of cars that aren't on great packages. I don't really care what ends up happening to them. So if they end up getting more damaged, even just marginally so, it doesn't matter to me. Like... Literally opening them versus keeping them in the card is equivalent. But yeah, stuff that I would sell as well. Like that's stuff that I really, like if somebody were to ask me to buy it, I would say, yep, sure, get it out of here. But these are on mint cards, so it complicates that process a little bit, guys. And yeah, actually, this was a late ad as well. I don't believe Drift Party Mater was originally on this case list. Could be wrong as well, but... I will take a mint card in one of him. He's definitely the rarer Tokyo Mater car that was included in case G when they released them all together. I see a lot more Edo Sands laying around than I do Drift Party Mater or Patokas. In fact, I don't believe, I've only found one Patoka and that was by bloodhounding around the bottom shelves. It's the only way I found my Patoka. Found this guy on the pegs once. I found like two or three Edo Sands. Actually, three Edo Sands. I found two Kelly Beam Brights or Emily Beam Brights, whatever it is. So yeah, this is good. Actually, it's crazy that almost everything was on a min card except for those first two Greebles. It did not look like that when you know everything skidded off, like it all fell down. I was I was very concerned, but it ended up being a great case unboxing. Very happy with everything that came out of this bad boy. Again, you got a nice little imagery here going on for the Cars Tune Tokyo Mater. Mainline Inter Series, whatever you want to call it. The within the mainline, like own little side line of Tokyo Mater. That usually is its own thing, but this year was incorporated into the mainline. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below who is your favorite. Let's not do that, though, but that is my clumsiness always coming through. You guys got to see how messy my table is. But I did promise you guys a couple of little comparisons here. So here is Tubbs Pacer. And again, I might do a video on Tubbs and Vlad. Probably would do it in the same video. Is there enough to even do a video about him? Somehow the Thailand license plate looks better than the Chinese one. I don't know. Doesn't look like a whole lot. There's the eyeliner, of course, but beyond that, I don't know, guys. I don't know if it's worth it. All right, let's see. Yeah, I need to show you guys the highlights from the case without toppling everything over, which I am known to do. You guys know that. There's Mateo here. Don't really care about these. There's Patty. Patty's all right. And then here we go with Vlad. All right, where is my loose Vladimir? Chilling over with Mato. Trying to steal Mato away from Mateo. Vlad, you absolute sly fox. Yeah, so again, you have the eyeliner going here. Actually, I would say the expression on the Thailand version looks better. I don't know. It just kind of looks weird on the Chinese version. doesn't look super vivacious. looks kind of flat. So there's that. You're lacking the dots in the wheels there. But obviously, I don't think many people care about that. 
Yeah, interesting stuff. You guys let me know in the comment section below who is your favorite from this case. It's kind of, you know, again, like I kind of already touched on, skewed at this point toward the quad when I feel like before, you know, everything that I mentioned went down, it should have been Mato, but I think I will still go with quad just straight up as my favorite. I do love Mato. Mallory's also a great release. But I mean, again, you take any of these cars, like you take Quad, Mallory, and Mato and put it into a whole bunch of other cases, or you put one of them in a bunch of cases, like they're going to be the favorite. Like you put, you put either of the three in case is B and C, they're the favorite. You put them in the case D, probably the favorite because Doug Crankle is inaccurate. You put them in the case E, probably the favorite. Case F, probably the favorite. Case G, probably the favorite. Case H, maybe not. Case J, probably not. I mean, maybe you're competing against Adam Rodriguez and Wes Philanapis in that one. But yeah, some of those earlier cases definitely could have used one of these. And I feel like if they spaced them out, they would have gotten some more individual love. But you guys let me know who's your favorite of this bunch here. Mine is the quad. And I can't wait to review them in a couple days. Man, these case unboxings are getting long now. So I'll let you guys go. Bye now.